Stay tuned. The Pimble and the Penguin will be right back. We'd like to speak to you about a condition known as Madler's Madness. Oh, my God. It's when your mind gets so twisted up with crazy words dude. that nothing seems to make sense. Try to avoid mousetraps and toe ring hazards. Madler's Madness. You haven't got it yet. It's an extreme sport. Bungee jumping. You will. That's right. Nice job. Madler's, Disney's new original game show based on the book series. wee ha Catch it. These guys are ready to play. Weekdays at 534 Central, only on Disney. Hey guys, it's Tina from the Movie Surfers, here on Disney. Today we're going behind the scenes of Disney's new movie, Mighty Joe Young. When zoologist Greg O'Hara discovers Joe, a 15-foot tall gorilla in the jungles of Africa, he brings him to an animal preserve to save him from wildlife poachers. But not even the animal preserve is completely safe. It must be wild working with that huge gorilla. Guys, I'm meeting with the star who played Greg O'Hara. Bill Let's go. I know a lot of surfers on our website would like to know what was it like working with a giant ape? He's kind of a prima donna of sorts. He's got a really big head already, so, you know, he's, his head's gotten even bigger since he's become a movie star. But no, seriously, it's been a lot of fun. Joe, drop him. Well, surfers, do you have any questions for Bill? Did you have a lot of stunts to do in the movie? But I, I got to drive a Humvee and, and all these Land Rovers, all these cool Jeeps and stuff all around Africa. What was the hardest scene to do in the movie? I think when Joe climbed up on the burning Ferris wheel to save this little boy, the fire was very hot. It was very near us. So it was very sad because Joe gets hurt, and that was a very emotional scene. You got it. Thanks for the inside scoop, Bill. And you can catch Disney's Mighty Joe Young, now playing in theaters. We now return to The Pebble and the Penguin, right here on Disney. Stay tuned, The Pebble and the Penguin will be right back. Hey, what's the rush? School's in at Zoo Disney, which means friends are in, fun is in, which means Flash Forward is in. Wow, Flash Forward is now inside Zoo Disney. Flash Forward is the adventures of two best friends, Tucker and Becca. And in the Zether, Flash Forward will be a world where you can connect to something that's ultra important to everyone. Friendship! We'll have a newspaper just like the one in the show. Best of all, it's a paper you can write for. Don't miss Flash Forward! Catch Flash Forward at 625, 525 Central. Weekends inside Zook Disney. Sundays on Disney. Join us for some real monkey business on Uncle Macumba. That's Mr. Plunkin. He's just your average, ordinary, humble, primate. Every Sunday, join Mr. Plunkett, Macomba, and Candace as they answer your questions about all sorts of wild animals. Oh, please, Mr. Plunkett, I would never insult you. Amba Macomba, where Macomba answers your questions. Amba Macomba, Sundays at 7, 6 Central, only on Disney. Sunday at 7, 30, 6, 30 Central. Muppets Tonight presents Rick Moranis and his amazing trained ants. Once there was a little old ant, thought he'd move. What'd you do that for? There was, there, there, was, there was an ant on the table. I smashed it. It was a musical ant. He was there for the song. Oh. Uh, make that Muppets Tonight presents Rick Moranis. Sunday at 7, 36, 30 Central on Disney. Oh, this is a weird place. This summer, you could be a part of Disney's Young Musician Symphony Orchestra. If you play one of these instruments, we'll be 13 years old or younger as of April 1st, 1999, and meet the audition requirements, applications are now available. Write to Disney's Young Musician Symphony Orchestra, P.O. Box 7746, Melville, New York, 11775-7746. Include your name, address, age, and instrument. Disney's Young Musician Symphony Orchestra, coming this summer to Disney. We now return to The Pebble and the Penguin, right here on Disney. 